Hello! I'm just, uh, yeah, doing my teeth. It's not early or anything, it's the afternoon. I've actually been up for hours and hours since about 8.45. Izzy's at college today. It's the first time Izzy's been to college since the fire break lockdown. I've uh, used a conditioner on my hair for the first time in ages because I got sick to death of the daily tangle fight. Do you know, I haven't been to a hairdresser since the lockdown either. The original lockdown in March. Not that I go often anyway. But I think I've got some, uh, ow, tangly ends. I also haven't dyed my hair for ages since then, <laughs> in fact. <laughs> I feel like having a real change today and now it's occurred to me. There are some shops that I could walk to without going on public transport, but they're too far to walk to, be at and walk all the way back, frankly, without needing the loo. And <laughs> they don't have loos, so. But it's occurred to me that I might be able to plan a strategic route which has Asda's in it because Asda's has a loo. You've got to think of these things when you don't drive, you see, and you not really supposed to go on public transport. I might at some point in the near future cut my own hair. Right now I'm feeling relatively fighting fit and I didn't play my flute yesterday in the end but I'm going to do it right now, right now before I lose the urge. Oh and look parcels came, well deliveries, things I ordered, I'll open those later. <laughs> I have emerged from the cellar where I've been practicing for about three quarters of an hour. I didn't want to overdo it my first day back at it. It's raining. I want to go out shopping and it's a long, long walk away. I'll probably go anyway because I'm just desperate, desperate to get out now and do something different. Now this weather situation is further complicating our plans today because Izzy, for the first time in absolute ages, is meeting up with my parents today in the open air and it's raining, so that's not good. So hopefully they've managed to come up with some kind of shelter plan between them all. While I think of it, let's open these and I'll show you what I got. Ooh. You're thinking, what on earth is that? Well, I don't know what the white things are, actually. They're supposed to be toggles for masks. I have no idea what these are. They just look like tiny beads to me. I need instructions. What they're supposed to be for, I thought, was for, you know, you get masks with elastics. You just deliberately make the elastic too much, put these on, and then you, like, pull them to make them fit properly. Okay, I have no idea how to work these. I'll have to um, have a think about that. Thinking about it, there is bound to be a tutorial video somewhere on YouTube, isn't there? Bound to be. Well, anyway, that was about three pound, I think, for that lot, maybe four. Can't remember. I'll put it on screen. There'll be a link in the description anyway, because I always, by the way, link anything I've ever got from Amazon or anything that can be got from Amazon that I feature prominently. It's just a daily habit of mine. So, yep. Go for this. Can't remember what this is. Oh, I know. Ha ha ha! Yay! Look, look. It's my coffee thingy. Excellent. I can't put it in now because there's some cold coffee left over in my pot from earlier. For some reason, it was a pack of five, and I have no idea why you would need five because the one that came with the pot honestly lasted so long. But anyway, that can go in the textiles drawer with my elastic and my cloths, and I must get around to making some more masks. And I haven't been doing it. Well, these go in the kitchen drawer. Ready for tomorrow. Last night I was finally feeling well enough to do a bit of puzzle again and blinky neck it's a hard one. It's uh, it's all rolled up over there in that blue roll thingy. Um, these are the pieces, I sorted those ones out, those are kind of dark coloured ones. I keep picking these things with just single shades or just slight variants of shade without sort of identifiable pieces. I'm annoying myself now, but I'm a sucker for the charity shop prices, that's the thing. Attempting to vlog and hold an umbrella and pull trolley. Only got two hands. Okay, so I got out of the house and as you can see it's raining and my big walk lies ahead. It's actually stopped now, which is good. I had to keep moving before because I had some people behind me and the path is so narrow they would have been held up if I'd have stopped because, you know, obviously having to be careful not to go near each other at the moment. I actually made it to Home Bargains and I'm so grateful right now for the fact that it didn't rain. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go in.
decided to buy Izzy a Christmas tree ornament every year so that when she leaves home she can take a box of her own ornaments with her. Somebody gave me the idea in the comments actually. None of those took my fancy though but I'm going to keep my eyes peeled next time I'm out. I had the intelligence to blow my nose before coming into the shop this time. Because last time, the second I got in, I started sweating because I'd walked so far to get here and I don't know, my nose started running as well. But anyway, should be alright this time. Oh look, they've got the contactless soap or sanitizer dispensers in here for £6. I don't need one, but just letting you know in case it would be helpful for you. Uh -huh, now this is the section I'm after. Well, not the biscuit selection box section really, but the food section. Oh yeah. Oh, I might try another one of these with dairy milk next time. The last one was a complete disaster with soya, but I have got some long life cow's milk in the cellar. So I might try it with that instead. Can't resist, I saw butterscotch. Hmm, I wonder if you can just eat these cold. I think you can. Ooh. Oh, I'll tell you what, those might be really, really handy. For when we decide to have a packed lunch. 175, that's not bad for a lunch, is it? Oh yeah. I ran out of dried basil and that's actually on my list. 39p I'm gonna get two. Now I had to get the different tuna salad thingies because the gluten-free ones don't have lemon juice so Izzy can have those so I'll have the others and she can have those. Oh I love this section. Having a great time. I'm looking for almonds. Izzy's allergic to all the rest. Well most of them. Um, no, she's allergic to those. Well, oh that's annoying. That's one of the reasons I wanted to come was for a big bag of almonds. It's the one nut they don't seem to have. Look there. Chestnuts. Ah, oh, now though, pretzels. Izzy loves pretzels. Let's get her two bags. Keep her going for a bit. And I'm a bit partial to Bombay mix. Oh, Izzy loves these two. One pound nine for three jellies. Those are lunchbox items for when she goes to college. Oh, look at those lovely big jars of marmite. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Don't fancy that. Might have these though. Look, I've come to the chocolate aisle. <laughs> I'm keeping a lookout for rice cakes because I'm sure they won't have corn cakes, but I've run out. Oh, there's the rice cakes. Do I see corn? No, caramel rice cakes, paprika rice cakes. Mm. I think it's going to have to just be plain old rice cakes fillet. They're only 39p, so we'll have a couple of those. So I don't have to go rushing straight off to Lidl's again. It'll last me a few days. I've picked Izzy up a Maltesers advent calendar. Now she's going to have one. And look, I'm in the chocolate aisle again. How did that happen? And I saw a massive Reese's Pieces advent calendar and it was really expensive, like fiver. But I thought, oh, I fancy Reese's Pieces, so I'm just going to see if I can find a smaller packet for me and Izzy to share later. <gasps> oh, yum, look at all the lovely chocolate. Oh, here we are. Mm. I'm going to get some Christmas tree decorations. Pound for all those. Get started. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't resist these chase from my childhood. 39 pence for three packets. What am I like? Oh look, for a pound. Well, 99 pence. Five Reese's pieces. Oh dear. Look what happened. I got in, having done all that walking each way. And what I could think about was the Reese's pieces. Isabel was here. Yes, I was. Actually, no you weren't. Well, you were by the time I opened the Reese's Pieces, but you came in after me, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How was college? It's okay. Mm -hmm. You saw Granny and Granddad. How were they? They were very nice. And they were good, I presume. Mm -hmm. 
problem is there's one left and we're going to have to cut it in half at some point in the future. That was a really silly thing to do because we've got um, the oven preheat in now for oven chips and pasties and things, haven't we? Mm -hmm. For our Friday night tea. If you've enjoyed today's video, do give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow. I so appreciate it. And if you're new here, do feel free to hit that subscribe button to follow more of our adventures. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.